Coach Prime, still winning while losing. It's always a good day in college football when Coach Prime is on the schedule. And this week, the Buffaloes play their in-state rival, the Colorado State Rams. First, let's get something straight. I am the guy that made the video that statistically proved that Coach Prime is undoubtedly the greatest college football hire ever in terms of money. He made Colorado more money than the historic hirings of Nick Saban and Urban Meyer. When they hired Dion, Colorado took off like a financial rocket. Coach Prime, as far as marketing and finances, he is undoubtedly the greatest. But as far as coaching, I don't know y'all. Colorado may have to change his position a couple of times. First, they're gonna move him to left out, and then they're gonna move him to right out the door. I'm just kidding. He'll probably just walk away after his kids leave. The Buffaloes seem to have more problems than a math book. They seem more like a hastily thrown together team when you really look at them, you know what I mean? The Buffaloes can't run the ball, they can't kick the ball, they can't protect their quarterback, and they can't get to the opposing quarterback. They hold the football too long, there's questions about nepotism, and much, much more. And all of that makes a cancerous culture. You know who I really like? I really like this kid, Jimmy Horn. He is fast as lightning, but I hate the way Coach Prime has tried to make his dad a big part of him. Jimmy Horn's dad happens to be in prison, and Coach Prime makes it a point to mention how he calls him every week. I am so tired of prison culture getting the limelight over hardworking, family-oriented black dads. If a man has kids that are depending on him and he ends up in prison, that represents the ultimate failure in quitting in life. In my opinion, Coach Prime, won't you call somebody like Kevin Owens, my homeboy in Memphis, Tennessee, that raised three boys that didn't play sports in college, but they all went on to get a degree. Let's give Kevin Owens a call. He had three boys graduate and he raised them in Frazier, Memphis, Tennessee. Instead of having all your high post, high dollar, lottery winning friends come in and talk, let's call Kevin, KO, and let him talk to those kids. He deserves it. The Colorado Buffaloes are not built from both lines out. They are built around the quarterback. And speaking of the quarterback and the way he rolls around campus, he seems to be a little entitled and he has questionable sportsmanship. So in closing, I see the Buffalo scoring 10 points and the Rams scoring 24. Thank you very much.